What's up, guys? This is Shantan, and welcome to another episode of the Eheng Podcast. And today we will read out an email from、uh, Wong Wei Min. Hi, Eheng. I would like to ask you for a first-time home purchaser.、Uh, for developer plans layout, how can we know which wall is hackable? Because when we approach agents, they unsure,、uh, and if we approach developer, I don't get reply to. Hopefully, you can answer more on layout redesign after VP, such as hacking wall, making two rooms into one big room, and some is the room doesn't have toilet attached, and we have to go out from room to the toilet. Oh yeah, I'm asking for those kind of service apartments condo. Thanks a lot, yeah. So first of all, thank you very much, Wei Min, for your questions, and I think there's a few things that we need to address, lah. Number one is how、uh, service apartments are actually constructed, and why they. Are not supposed to be hacked, lah. Okay, so number one, right now, in order to save costs and to actually build more eff- efficiently, which means that you can build faster in a more accurate manner, they are actually using system formworks. System formworks is where two, uh, you know how formworks are done, right? Formworks are actually the papan, the wood, right? The timber pan, the timber plane, lah. When they actually put two together, then actually they put all the Rebars. They put all the steel, and then they pour concrete into it. So after they pour concrete into it, it takes some time for it to solidify. And once it's solid, ready, then you actually peel off the timber panels, and you actually build the floor again. Then you actually go up again. So this formwork can actually be used like maybe eight times, ten times in accordance to the quality that the developer wants, lah. So that used to be the conventional way of actually building, and it's number one is not environmental friendly because there's a lot of timber that they need to use. Number two is、uh, it's actually slow because the foreign workers, the Gong Si Gong, will need to like nail the carpenters will need to build the formwork every set of formworks on site. And number three, it's not as accurate because it's actually very manual. Like one day the floor don't know what, maybe the worker just don't know think of what, right? And they they short of a member of a strut of a bracing member to tie these two wood together because concrete is actually heavy, ma. Then maybe they have swelling, or sometimes when you pour in, it's not cast correctly. You have this honeycomb where you have holes in your concrete walls. So now in the market, right? In the construction market, there's this thing called system formwork. System formwork is where they use. Instead of a timber element, right? They actually use steel for service apartments. The height is actually standard across the whole building, besides the facility deck and the penthouse only. The rest, right, usually is all standard height, and that allows the developer to actually construct the building somewhat like a manufacturing process. It means that after I put the formwork. The system formed in steel, where I just put some oil and I just pour concrete, right? And I can immediately pull this out. And I can actually move upwards and actually continue the whole casting process, and that is very very fast. But the shortcoming is this: it's all concrete. Number two, right? Now they are concrete walls and beams. Those days against old houses or old apartments, right? Is actually constructed using beams and columns. It means, uh, wait, I go get a pen. Okay, so this is a beam and column. So this is the beam, and this is the column, right? So older apartments, right? Actually, constructed in this way, and the partitions. Like now, if I want to form a wall in between the units, what I will need to do is to actually erect a wall to fill up the space. Right, so after you erect the wall, and because it's done in brick, that's why somewhat is allowable to hack. Right, so let's say if I want to make another extra room, I can actually hack just this portion of the wall. Right, so conventional can be done. However, like the system formwork and the concrete walls that I was actually mentioning, right. So now it's actually done in one entire piece when they cast the wall, and all these are actually concrete. Concrete means, uh, it's way stronger than bricks. It's way more efficient than bricks, and it's actually thinner. 
so like the 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 wall actually normal is actually two two five or one eight zero. This one can be actually done one two five mm or one fifty mm. However, that also becomes a nuisance to new residents or buyers uh, because number one, I cannot hack right the your, the pro same problem that you are having. Number two, actually you can't even nail. However, by right you can actually get this kind of drawings from developers uh, agents i don't think they will actually have access to these drawings but i think the developers uh, marketing side will have and one very important thing like waving you are not supposed to hack lah. Because even if they allow you to hack, right, it's going to be just a very small, like a door size for a wall. It cannot be you hack off a wall because the construction method of apartments do not allow you to do that. Imagine this, uh, if you are buying level 25, right, and now level 18 wants to take off a wall and level 16 wants to take off a wall. So it's like playing Zenga. Right. So in order to make the apartments right more solid in terms of structural elements, they actually tie the entire building together. And that's why you have the strata act. In the strata act, when you want to renovate your house, right, you actually need approval because it actually puts the resident's safety at risk. Right? Imagine this, like you are saying level 25 again, I'm at level 24. Adding Partitions to it is not the worst thing. Like, and partition, you can use lightweight partition like just sandwich boards or whatsoever. But like if you want to add on another toilet, right? If you want to tear down walls, I don't think it's possible. My suggestion would actually be to look for a floor layout that you actually want. It's not practical at all. And I think it's almost impossible to actually have an apartment, right? Where you can hack walls to make two rooms into one room or to hack off another wall so I can be in the same room with the toilet. That's why floor layouts in apartments is actually very, very important because it's actually cast in stone. You can't really change much, not like individual terrace houses where you can actually tear down the whole building and actually do it again. So I think, Wei just to manage your expectation, whatever you are asking for, number one, who will have the structural drawings? Developers will have, but even if you have the drawings, right, you cannot hack because number one, it puts the whole building building safety at risk number two you will need approval from the management body before you can actually execute and i doubt you can do so because they will actually fall back to number one so i will suggest you to find a right apartment with the right layout that you need instead of buying an apartment then changing it la. so i think that's more practical uh, more straightforward la. so i think that's all with me i hope i answered your question and for the others who still have questions regarding real estate do just email me at tan i h e r n g T A N I H E R N G at gmail.com, or you can actually just look me up at I H E R N G at multiple social media platforms. And I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. See you guys on the next one. Ciao.